Okay, today we are going to create a batik, not using the traditional process, which uses wax. Instead of using wax, we are going to be using Elmer's washable school glue gel, this blue kind. To make sure it's cleaned off well enough that you can draw with it, because this is like your pencil or your pen. We're going to be drawing our design with the Elmer's glue. Though so this can work for children. They can make pillowcases, they could do whatever design they want. Just have them dry it before they decide to do it on the fabric. I have some stains that I couldn't get off of this, so I decided to just, just change it and make a new shirt out of it. So I'm gonna be drying the design with my Elmer's glue. I'm gonna let it dry. Then I'm going to dip it in my dye, and then I'm going to wash it. So before you start, if you're doing a shirt like I am, um, you want to put some plastic on the inside of it. So just grab a garbage bag and just put it inside of it. You don't want it to go through to the other side. So just put the plastic in it and then just grab some pins. So I have two on the shoulder, two under the armpits, and two on the bottom of the shirt. Okay, so then just cut your garbage bag in half and just get your sleeve, push it through. So you pinch it and then pull it all the way out like this. And I'm gonna pin it on the shoulder and pin it with the cuff. Just put garbage bags inside of it or just some kind of plastic and then just pin it on the shoulders, under the armpits, and on the very bottom. And then when you, if you have long sleeves, just put a pin at the top and the pin at the bottom. So for time's sake, I'm just going to be filming me doing this part of the shirt with the glue just so you can kind of get the gist of it. I don't think you need to see me do the whole shirt to understand how to use this technique. You want to just make sure that the glue comes out in a nice, straight, String. Make sure there's not anything blocking it. Check that before you start. So that is my glue that I've just drawn this design with on my fabric. So I'm gonna keep working and add a few more details to the rest of shirt. Um, kind of getting inspiration from these beautiful sweet pea flowers. And then I have to let this dry before I work on the back. So I will get to that point and then I will show you the next step. Okay, I'm gonna be using rib dye for this. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use the watered down acrylic paint. If you're gonna be doing different colors on the back than on the front, then leave the plastic bags in. I'm just gonna be doing the same color on both sides. Also, you can use squirt bottles to squirt the color out. I'm no expert with dyeing, but this is how I've done it before, and it has worked. So take your garbage bags out, and since you're using dye, you wanna wear gloves. I'm gonna try two colors. Everything I do is an experiment, so we'll see if this works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like a pink-ish orange color and then I'm gonna put yellow on the top. So anywhere I have the glue, it should stay white. I'm just kind of dipping it in the two colors, maybe giving it kind of like an ombre effect. You can kind of see. And then I want to just keep this yellow part. I'm going to soak it a little bit longer in here. It says to leave it in for 30 minutes when you're doing sink dyeing. So if you want to, you can follow those directions, but I am not going to do that because I'm worried about my glue coming off. So I'm just going to put it in there for just a little bit of time. And hopefully it stains my shirt. Okay, so you can kind of see already, you can see my design. Is that bright enough? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take it into my bathroom and wash the dye out of it. Okay, so I've dipped it, I dipped the top part in yellow dye, dipped the bottom part in this pink red dye, and now I'm gonna wash it off in my sink. And I 
want to wash the starting from my lightest color to my darkest color just so my lightest color will stay this nice yellow. After I rinse it a little bit, I will show you the pattern and how it looks. So you want to wash it until it, the water runs clear. So let me just open it up and kind of show you what it looks like on my sink. So you can see the pattern. You can see the pattern on my sleeves a little bit here. So you can write words. You could do any design you wanted. Draw people's faces, write a message to the... There is my signature. Now it will fade, especially since we didn't leave it in the water for very long. But luckily it's going to be pretty permanent just because of the dye that we used. But be aware that the lighter your color is, the less you're going to be able to see your design. Which makes sense, like up here in the yellow, you can see it's a little bit faded. Okay, so after you wash it out, what I do is I just throw it in the wash on hot on a quick cycle and that should set um, the color but keep rinsing it in your sink until it runs clear. Okay here is a before image and an after image and here's a close-up. If I think if I would have rinsed it more in the water before and gotten all the dye out it wouldn't have bled so much so I would have whites instead of oranges for the lines. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I've made quilts using this technique, baby onesies. I mean you can do a lot with it. I'm going to be doing a an animal pillow technique with kids in a few weeks. So anyway, have a great day and I'll see you later on YouTube.